Once again, uh, we tell hello to all of our subscribers. Today is 16th of July 2018, and we are presenting our analysis of commodity block of currencies for this uh, trading day and for this trading week. Uh, this trading week, as we already mentioned, uh, is full of economic uh, data regarding uh, commodity uh, currencies. The first one will come already today, uh, overnight uh, we could see uh, Australian uh, monetary policy meeting minutes, as well as uh, consumer price index of the New Zealand. We know that uh, consumer price index inflation overall is a uh, number one uh, driving force at the moment for the world financial markets, because uh, the inflation printing is uh, inflation results should form a future of uh, monetary policy in respective economies. From that point of view, consumer price index uh, coming uh, in uh, New Zealand should uh, for sure attract a lot of attention of investors and should uh, fluctuate uh, the price of the Kiwi. And that's why we suggest this uh, they uh, to stand aside from any, any kind of positions of New Zealand dollar as well as Australian dollar which is uh, should also be considering under the current um, um, under the current relations tough relations let's say so between United States and China regarding its trading uh, matters Anyway, uh, the week is starting on the positive note because a risk aversion sentiment is subsiding at the moment. Better economic data coming from China in the form of uh, trade balance and gross domestic product should stimulate commodity block of currencies with its upside potential. Let's see the charts of respective uh, currencies, but uh, uh, first of all, let's uh, let's uh, end, uh, let's finish our talking about the fundamental background. And also here in the dollar Canada, we have uh, um, consumer price inflation uh, report as well as uh, retail sales figures uh, that should come on uh, Friday. And uh, as regarding Australian economy, uh, Australia will present its uh, employment report in the middle of uh, the week. And uh, as regarding the Russian ruble, uh, this week, but to say the truth, already today in Finland, is scheduled a meeting, the meeting between uh, uh, Russian leader Vladimir Putin and uh, United States President Donald Trump. It will be very, really very important uh, for the Russian ruble as well as uh, for the world uh, uh, economy. What kind of a result should have this meeting. Uh, should uh, the West uh, will continue, should the West continue its uh, position with uh, sanctions against uh, Russian economy or, um, or probably it's uh, time to take them back? That's uh, the probably the most important question uh, associated with this uh, with this meeting at the moment. As regarding the technical background, uh, the Australian dollar still remains in the, uh, in the negative position, while trading below its uh, 2018 downtrend located at 75.40, we will use a possible, um, a possible um, uh, retest of this trend line to uh, establish new short positions in the currency, but uh, once again with a really very tight uh, stop loss. As regarding the New Zealand dollar, we already told that uh, we suggest to stand aside, but we should recognize the 2018 downtrend located at 68.75. Dollar Canada also here lies a uh, kind of uptrend line at 130.75. We'll use a possible dip to this area 130.60 to establish new long positions in the currency with uh, with a stop below 130.40 and uh, as regarding uh, Russian ruble of course a lot of will depend once again a lot of will depend on uh, today's meeting between Vladimir Putin and uh, 
uh, Donald Trump. But as regarding uh, kind of technical position, uh, the pair should remain under the pressure, as we suggest. Uh, the pair should remain in the narrowing triangle. This uh, uh, should be limited from the upper side uh, from its 2018 downtrend located at 6390 uh, and from the upside already uh, tested during the last trading week uptrend line located at 6175 while inside of this triangle uh, from technical point of view uh, the russian ruble should remain more or less uh, more or less uh, range bound let's see anyway the results of today's uh, crucial meeting thank you very much for all of you dear friends we wish you a pleasant week ahead a profitable one it was your future trend channel with you and bye bye for now